What's up guys, it's Mike. Today we got a dumbbell home workout for you to do today. So you know when you wanna work out at home but you don't have heavy weights and you may not have a gym membership but don't feel like going to the gym so you're usually like, well, I don't know if I can do a workout at home. Today we're gonna be doing a workout at home that doesn't require super heavy dumbbells. The way we have it set up, we have eight exercises that you can do at home. You don't need a bench, you don't need anything. All you need is a pair of dumbbells. And again, it doesn't have to be very heavy because we're gonna be doing 10 reps of every exercise, working on every part of our body from our shoulders to our chest, back, legs, core, hitting everything. And also, we're gonna be building up on endurance also, so we're not gonna be resting between the sets. Our, we're gonna do our best to go one by one down the road, 10 reps each each exercise, and just keep going down. And our goal is to try to finish all eight of them with no rest. Don't know if we can, let's give it a shot. But this way, it really stimulates your metabolism, it gets your cardiovascular going, and it'll be a nice, good resistance training workout for you. And when you do that, that's gonna be 80 repetitions, and that's one round. You're gonna do this 10 times total to get a full workout at home. So it's gonna be really, really awesome. So before we start today's workout, I'm gonna do a quick shout out for our sponsors for today's video, harrys.com. So they're a razor company. They sell high quality razors at about 50% of the price of the big brand companies. And they do so because they have their own manufacturer in Germany where they basically make their own blades and they pass the savings on to us. So you can see this set right here has the shaving cream, it has the handles, and this is actually a Winston set. Pretty awesome chrome handle. They got the Truman set that's basically just another color. Same thing, comes with three cartridges. This is a pretty awesome set here. And a little razor cover, so this way your razor doesn't get dirty, stays clean. All this for 15 bucks. So you, you can't beat that deal, that's killer. So check it out, if you go to harrys.com, not only do they ship free in the US, but also in the promo code section, if you type in the word six pack, you'll get $5 off your first purchase. So with a set like the Truman's being like 15 bucks, free shipping in the US, and then another $5 off, you're literally getting a set like this for about 10 bucks. So it's killer. Check it out, go to harrys.com. Thanks a lot for you guys for sponsoring the videos, Harry's, and uh, check it out. So now we're gonna be doing our workout. Grab your dumbbells, grab some water, grab a towel. I got me some 20 pound dumbbells. We're gonna try to go through every single exercise with no rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and slow down just a bit so this way I can give you some direction, talk a little bit about form too. So when you're using lightweight, the last thing you wanna do is just go ahead and swing weights around and stuff like that because it may be a little lighter than what you're used to. So you really wanna focus on the contraction, and focus on working that muscle. So we're gonna start off, warm up those 20 push-ups. So this way we activate, kinda of wake up your chest. So let's get down, let's knock out 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got allergies kicking my butt. <laughs> One, two, three, four, and five. Oh. All right, now let's go into floor dumbbell chest presses. So you usually when you do a chest, not chest press, chest fly, you do them on a bench. This time, you can do it on the ground. So this is how it works. Lay on the ground. You wanna come out to where your arms are touching the ground, but your forearms aren't. Because if you do this, then you're gonna have to use a lot of biceps just to curl it up. So you want your arms to touch the ground down to about your elbows. Then you come back up. So here's the trick, guys. When you're coming back, Get a full extension, extend all the way out, but when you come up, you wanna go upwards. You see where my finger is pointing? Upwards towards the ceiling. So you're not coming together in the middle. You're coming upwards. And then out, and then, see the fingers? Up. So when you're right here, you're not relaxed and squeezing this way, you're pushing it upwards, like this, and keeping your chest out and pushing it up. So you, you see how my chest flexes when it does that, right? Right now, my chest is loose. Now, watch and I point upwards. You see? So this is very, very important because if not, if you don't do that, you may be working the wrong body parts, okay? So, let's do 10 reps. One, expand out. Up, 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 up. Two, expand out. Up, 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 up. Three, so doing it upwards allows you to flex your chest and contract it. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice little pump, feeling good already. So then we go into underhand bent over rolls. So, go into an underhand grip, grab the dumbbells, squat down like you're doing a squat, hold the dumbbells in front of you, and roll. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, A little key point here, when you're rolling, make sure that your back's not rounded. So check this out. See, I'm rolling, I'm keeping my butt out and my chest out. So last thing you wanna do is round your back like this. You see? Because then, all you're doing is putting a lot of stress on your spine and not working your back muscles. So next we have four second push-ups. So let's get back into that push-up position. And a four second push ups, we're gonna do four seconds coming down, and then we're gonna hold two seconds on the bottom, and then we're gonna come up, and that's one rep. So here we go one, two, three, four, hold two, up, two, three, four, hold two, 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 three, four, hold two, three, three, four, hold two. Four, two, three, four, hold two, five, two, three, four, hold two, six, three, four, hold two, seven, three, four, hold two, eight, two, hold two, nine, hold two, ah, ten. Man, those are much tougher than it looks because when you're holding down, that, that four seconds, you're creating a lot more time under tension, which is basically stressing your muscle, versus most people just drop down and they push back up, so it takes maybe a second to drop down. So you're not really working your chest much when you do that. So, four second push-ups, 10 reps, shoulder presses, let's grab our dumbbells, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, All right, then right into upright rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. And then right into a squat and press. So have the dumbbells right here, lift them up by your shoulders. Squat down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, you have your dumbbell cross chop. So we put a dumbbell down. So what we do is we do 10 reps on each side. So this is what it looks like. You grab onto the dumbbell, have it touch the floor right here by your feet. You wanna stand about shoulder width or so. Do what you feel comfortable. But you're gonna grab this and you're gonna lift it up across. Come back down. It's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then switch. One, two, three. Eight. 
And then we're gonna official patch off with a crossover crunch. So, crossover crunches, basically, you're doing a crunch, but instead of going upwards, you're gonna cross over and go to the side. Whew. Getting out of breath here. 10 reps each side. Hands behind the head. You can lift your leg up if you like, or leave it down and just aim for your for the crossing knee, opposite knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you don't have a towel under yet, <laughs> you'll be making a lot of squeaking fart noises. There you go, like that. So there goes round one. Take it a little easy on the first round <laughs> will be my tip. And if you can, go through every one of the exercises and not rest at all. This way you get that cardiovascular work out of it. You can really feel it burn throughout your entire body, depending on how heavy your dumbbells are. But you can get a really, really good workout this way without having to go anywhere. So remember guys, that's round one. If you want to do the full workout, 10 rounds total. At this point right now, rest as long as you need to. You know, I would say don't go over three minutes, but if you can rest a minute or so, or if your breath is not too high and you can go right into the second round, go for it. This way, you can keep the intensity high. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out harrys.com. Go ahead and get yourself hooked up on those razors and type in six pack under that promo code and you'll get $5 off that first purchase. So thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time. Peace.